Boltongs are designed for holding round and square stock. They're great for working with curved bars because the large opening in the jaw allows you to grab the curve anywhere along its length. They may look complicated, but they're really just a simple variation on the flat bit tongs. You do have to be a little more careful when you're forging in the offsets because you're not going to be able to just trim off the ends if they wind up being different lengths like you can with flat bit tongs. The ruler that I have clamped to my anvil is essential for making bolt tongs. It's just made from a short length of flat bar and this one happens to be marked off in inches but if you wanted to you could make one for a specific job that has just the measurements that you would need for that piece. These tongs are pretty straightforward. If you get the first offset to line up, everything else seems to fall into place, so you don't need to do a lot of measuring. The offset that I'm using for this pair of tongs is 3 inches long. I define the offset at the corner of the anvil that's right next to the ruler. That way I can keep an eye on whether the piece is drifting out of position or not. And then I'll move over to a corner of the anvil that has a bigger radius. I'm hammering down the flat section that's going to be used for the curved part of the bit. I'm staying away from the very end of the bar because I'm going to need that extra material to form the bit of the tongs. To forge the next offset I rotate the bar counterclockwise 90 degrees and I forge the second offset that's going to define the hinge area for the tongs. This section is forged out exactly the same way that I did for the flat bit tongs. With this heat I'm going to finish shaping the flat section of the tongs and I'm going to define the offset that's going to be used for the actual bit of the tongs. If you're new to making tongs I would take the time to use the ruler at the anvil to take note of where the offsets are lining up. That way when you make the mating piece to this half of the tongs you can get things to line up before you move on to the next section. This is going to be the last time that you're going to be able to make any adjustments to the size of the bit. Now I'm forging the bend that's going to define where the curve is going to start. Once I have this bend made, it's going to be pretty hard to make any changes to the size of the bit. So you want to do everything you can to make sure that everything lines up before you do this step. I use a bender to roughly shape the curved portion of the bit. And then I refine that shape over at the anvil. And then I forge a 90 degree bend at the offset for the bit. When you're done shaping the tongs, the flat portion of the bit of the tong should roughly line up with the handle. Once again I use the arbor press to do the preliminary shaping on the jaws. These are going to be V-groove tongs. I usually only make V-groove tongs because they're specifically designed to hold square stock, but they also hold round stock very well. The V-groove is further refined in the swage block at the anvil. The fuller that I'm using has a bevel edge that's browned to exactly 90 degrees. And from here you would forge the eye and finish the tongs the same way you would any other pair. <laughs> 